Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Celebrating Act 2 with uh, my partner, Art Kirsch, and myself, John Coleman. And uh, Art, did you enjoy the holiday, the Independence Day holiday? You know, I did. And quite frankly, I see a bit of a sparkle in your eye. Did you... Uh... <laughs> Was it a sparkling holiday for you? <laughs> Actually, yeah, we didn't do fireworks or anything like that. Mm. Uh, it's much too dry around here. And uh, I noticed that there's a trend, certainly in Southern California, to eliminate all fireworks, even what they used to call the safe and sane Ohio fireworks. Mm. Um, and that may be a good thing, except that... Uh, I don't know, every year it's nice to hear about some kid getting his fingers blown off with a cherry bomb. Yeah, um, that, always, but, that always sort of brought a, a warm rush to your heart. I seem to remember that. Um, you know what I was surprised at? The, the uh, fireworks are back. Uh, uh, now, I don't know if we can say the pandemic's over or waning or whatever it is, but um, it seemed to me that we had lost fireworks and parades last year. And yeah. uh, so the celebration, I'm so happy that everybody was celebrating. I still haven't found close to me locally any parades. No, um, actually, I saw on uh, uh, some friends on Facebook, particularly posting, that they were putting their chairs out the night before in uh, Pasadena. Oh, good. And in Lake Forest, uh, which is a, a town not too far from me. Uh, yeah. But... Uh, that both in Southern California, for for those of the rest of you who don't know, but uh, uh, they were probably limited. But what I did find interesting was that there were fireworks seemed to have gone overboard uh, around the country, and I'll tell you two different things. Uh, and uh, we, you and I, grew up with the Macy's parade. We could talk about that, not the parade, but the fireworks. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But um, CNN had this, it seemed like seven hours of fireworks across the country. And I guess um, they've done a lot of entertainment type of things since, uh, was it Zucker came over from NBC to them? And they do all yeah. the specials on uh, the 70s, yeah. the 80s, and 90s, sitcoms and movies and comedy and things like that. Oh. So they've done a lot of entertainment things. And at this time, what they seemed to be doing was they had uh, like Reba McIntyre in one place and they had a whole bunch of different people singing in different parts of Nashville, Tennessee, uh, uh, something in Colorado. They eventually got out to the West Coast, I guess. I didn't bother watching that. Uh, but they showed uh, the fireworks in each of these towns uh, along the way. Uh, one of my favorites used to be, nothing to do with CNN, uh, with uh, 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 the boss and pops would always do sure. fireworks with the cannons going off at the end. And yeah. That one seems yeah. to be missing, but the the Capital Fourth, which also was done as a, a PBS special, uh, was there as well. And they were all pretty spectacular. Uh, but uh, CNN, I think, has a lot of work to do to, to get the right camera angles. They were watching the boats in the on the water throwing up mortars and things like that <laughs> wasn't that interesting what you want to see is the fireworks uh so by the time eight o'clock came around uh and the macy's fireworks were i guess taped but showing out here it was a spectacular uh uh event what about you did you watch any of the fireworks on tv no i didn't really um we were having dinner on the patio and the hot dogs and corn and typical uh Fourth of July fair, I but guess. But you didn't uh, see barbecue. you didn't see anything though because you're pretty much in the and, and we're all yeah. on fire. No, we didn't, we're all on we fire didn't see anything. We, yeah, we probably could have uh, if we had bothered. It, you know that stuff doesn't excite me too much anymore. So, but I was I'm glad to hear that there have been a lot of fireworks. I it may be just me, but my impression was that last year because of the pandemic. Um, there were no parades, there were no fireworks, there were, you know, everything was uh, canceled or muted or whatever, particularly parades, because parades are a, a, you know, human gathering thing. 
So I'm glad to hear that at least you know of some parades. Yeah. Also, just as, as, as a bit of an aside, I don't want to be Debbie Downer, but I'll, 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 I'll assume the role. Uh, you have been out uh, going to restaurants and things like that uh, more frequently than I have. Uh, I think right. I've been out once or twice uh, uh, before this, but we went to, uh, uh, I guess it was Saturday night. Uh, my, uh, I have a, a daughter who was born on July 5th, and so we went out to have a, uh, a, a our favorite local Chinese restaurant. Uh, and we took her out to dinner, and uh, she and her husband came along. We had a wonderful time. It was great Chinese food. Uh, but it was funny, masks going in, because it said so on the door. But once you sat at the table, the masks came off, and we all felt very comfortable. Uh, there's also a very high degree of uh, vaccinations in our neck of the woods. But the thing that I found very, uh, uh, I guess two weeks from now, three weeks from now, we're going to find out what happened. There are certain sections of the country, like uh, uh, Tennessee, where the vaccination rate is very low. And in there, uh, I think Brad Paisley was doing a concert. They were packed wall to wall for, it looked like blocks on end of unmasked people. And I wonder whether or not uh, those areas like uh, in Florida and other places that don't have a high vaccination rate, particularly of young people who go out to these things, whether or not they're gonna want to run into trouble uh, but I guess uh, more of them will, will get it and it'll help us reach herd immun immunity sooner. Uh, but it's really going to be a shame, yeah. if, uh, especially with that Delta variant around. Uh, but, yeah. it, but it does look like um, uh, there were tons of people in the Washington Mall. There were tons of people in Nashville and every other location, New York City which has a very high vaccination rate. So I wonder what's going to happen a couple of weeks from now. But people, are, there's no question, people are hungry to get back out to the world and, and be as we were before in crowds yeah. and having a good time. Well, I, I think the, um, the 4th of July celebrations are a good symbol of that getting back, getting out, getting back to normal, whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know that it, how much it really represents the difference between the pandemic lockdown and right. complete uh, back to normality, but it's, it's uh, symbolic of it. So that's good. Yeah. And it's, it's a needed celebration. So. Right. But I did miss the Boston Pops. I have to tell you, they, those were, that was always one of my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually been to the Boston Pops on the Charles River for that concert. And it's just, a tremendous amount of fun. Yeah, Linda and I lived in Brockton. I don't think we went up there to see it, but there was always tons of stuff around. That was a highlight of um, uh, of the year was the, the Boston Pops, whether you watch yeah. it on TV and then you went out and you watch your own local fireworks. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, no, I think it, it's an, it was an upbeat feeling for everybody. And uh, uh, I presume that m many, uh, the travel uh, airline travel was jammed. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. That's I think that's a good thing too. Yeah, you know, it's all really thank thanks to the um, vaccines. Yeah, you know, that people so. are willing to take a chance and go out and whatever. So I think this is a real good sign. And it's it says summer. It says go to the beach, have fun. It's summer. So you know. Well, that's the nice thing about our partnership going on for so long is I can see when there is a sparkle in your eye or a sparkler. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Spar yeah. It's a 10 cent sparkler. Yes. Uh, all right, Art. Um, I will see you next week when we talk about life in general and all the good things, including um, God bless America. And yeah, I'm getting back to normal. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.